Difficulty breathing through the nose, throbbing facial pain or bad headaches, a feeling of swelling around the eyes and nose. Those are all signs of something called sinusitis. All right, many people suffer from sin chronic sinusitis, but there is relief. Dr. Jonathan Moss from the Charlotte Eye, Ear, Nose, and Throat is here to offer some relief for chronic sinusitis. I'm having a hard time saying that word, sufferers. You're not alone. Okay, there you go. Do. Sinusitis, correct? You got it. Is that good? Okay. Sinusitis. Go. All right. What causes chronic sinusitis? So chronic sinusitis is a chronic inflammation or swelling that's in the sinuses. It can also lead to chronic infections as well. I mean, walk outside, right, in the last few weeks. You feel that swelling and pressure drainage from your nose. Yes. And people who really suffer allergies, you get that pressure in your face. Yes. Chronic sinusitis is similar symptoms to that. So what's the, what's the difference then, doctor? Because a lot of us, I think, feel that right now with the pollen being mm -hmm. so bad and a right. lot of us are suffering from allergies. Allergies, how do we know if it's just regular run-of-the-mill allergies or if it's something, if it's sinusitis? Yeah, well, you know, allergies can just be seasonal. I mean, many of us, when our cars are yellow, it, right, we have the congestion, runny nose and sneezing, and it's usually self-limited. It will last for a season, spring or fall. Chronic sinusitis is a condition that lasts for at least three months, can be pressure, congestion, drainage from your nose, and more infection, you feel weak, you know, loss of energy and those things. You can have that with, that with allergies too. I think I have that right now oh, yeah. actually. Yeah. All right, what's a treat treatment option for people who suffer with multiple infections? Well, once you accurately diagnose someone with either allergies or chronic sinusitis, the treatments are different. So for someone who truly has chronic sinusitis, you can get most of those patients better by doing antibiotics and steroids, usually for a prolonged course. Hmm. But for some patients that fail that, surgery ends up being the option. That's pretty invasive, I'll think about surgery. What type of surgery do you, do you recommend? Well, for patients that need surgery, you know, there are four sets of sinuses on each side of the nose. So first you have to figure out which ones are involved. Okay. And there are different surgical options for the sinuses. Traditionally, we've taken patients to the operating room and you just open the sinuses so they function better. So when, they, when they're swelling in the nose, it can't close off the sinuses to where they get infected and it leads to this chronic problem. There's a newer way that's come about, newer maybe in the last decade, where you just use balloons to dilate or stretch the opening of those sinuses. And that can be done in the office. That can be done in the office. So that's easier on patients, I assume, correct? It's a faster recovery. It's in more in and out. You just put a numbing gel inside the nose and then allows you to go in the nose with a camera and the instruments you need to do that procedure pretty pain-free without having to have a shot or injection in those that I would worry about and I'm sure other people do. Yes. You just use a gel to numb it and it works great. So what is the recovery time? You said it's less than a different kind of surgery. If you use the balloon, the recovery time is less. Right. I mean, these patients are coming into the office, having it done and going home. Oh. Right. And so they may have some discomfort or maybe a little bit of extra drainage or crusting in their nose for maybe the week or so afterwards, okay. but then that's about it. Okay. Why is this procedure beneficial? Well. If you've lived with chronic sinusitis, you're looking for something. I yes. mean, if medical therapy doesn't work, I mean, the quality of life and the scores and the studies that people have that have chronic sinusitis are very unhappy. I mean, it's, it's a very poor quality of life condition to have. They're looking for an answer when medications don't work. Is that balloon procedure is the same thing they use for heart when they open up the thing? Like it's similar, like but to think of it on a much bigger scale. So for the heart, they're putting in stents and they're leaving the stents in. So for this procedure, you're going in with a balloon and you're stretching the opening of that sinus to where it stays open, but then you're deflating it and you're removing everything. Gotcha. But the opening of that sinus will remain. Well, you don't have to suffer any longer. Mm. Contact Charlotte Eye, Ear, Nose, and Throat Associates. The number is 704-295-3000. 704-295-3000. Or visit them online at goodsenses.com. Goodsenses.com. Thank you so much for being yeah, here thank today. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate no it. All right, coming up on Shout Today.